So good afternoon, we're at Discovery Park in Sandwich in Kent and we're discussing the Dover Clean Ferry project. I'm Simon Barnes from the University of Kent and we're talking about the project to electrify and bring electrical energy to the ferry fleet with a move towards moving towards net zero. So I've got Megan with me today from the port of Dover. So Megan, what, what was your involvement in the project? So I did a lot of the coordination from the port of Dover's point of view, helped supply all the data um, and, and produce some of the pieces of work in Work Package 4, as well as supporting uh, Ramin with all of the project management stuff and the you know, reporting and presentations. And how was working with other people outside outside of the port? How did you get on with them? It was really interesting, actually, to work with different people, different perspectives and different uh, points of view, as well as different areas of expertise. You know, I've not uh, got the technical and engineering knowledge of some of the people that we worked with, so it's really, really interesting to learn more about that and, and to get there. So you, you've learnt more in the last, it's been a six month project hasn't yeah. it? So you, in the six months your level of learning has gone up 50%? Oh drastically, drastically. I, yeah I obviously understood all the concepts we're talking about but the, some of the more technical knowledge has been re it's really new and really interesting to me so I've learnt lots and lots. Good, good. This project. And what, what are you going to do next with that learning? What, what would you like to be doing in two years time? I think you know it'd be nice to uh, we can apply all this knowledge and all the work we've done towards the next application for a demonstrator project, mm. uh, and hopefully in two years' time we'll be in the middle of, of working through that demonstrator project to really get some sort of Im implementation uh, of all of these things we talked about: the shore power, the pump and storage, energy storage systems. I think it's really we're at the right time to do this now, and it'd be really great for the port to implement some of this learning uh, from the feasibility. So study. The port has an environmental responsibility and you, 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 you look at that environmental responsibility from the point of view of carbon and air quality. Yes. Um, what, what's been going on generally in terms of the environmental performance for the port over the last five years? So, so the port um, was certified to ISO 14001 in 2007 and as part of that we had a target to reduce our carbon footprint by 5% every year. So right. since 2007 we have been recording all of our scope 1 and scope 2 emissions and some scope 3. Um, and, and tracking that uh, reduction, we've managed about eighty-five percent of our own emissions so far. Excellent. A reduction since two thousand and seven um, on air quality in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty. We worked on a poor air quality strategy yeah. that was published, and that will be reviewed every three years. It's got some targets in there um, that this project helps work towards completing a few of those targets. Um, so I've been really working a lot on carbon footprinting and air quality, as well as all the other parts of the environmental picture. So you're understanding the whole environmental picture for the port and how you do that. Mm -hmm. and, and what about renewables? What's your feeling about renewables? Are they worth it? I definitely think they're worth it. I think it, it will increase our resilience as well, you know, to have lots of different types of renewables. You know, the sun's not always shining, the wind might not always be blowing. So I think a mix of renewables is really a sensible way to go just from a resilience point of view, as well as from a net zero and future proofing point of view as well. Any, any difficult as aspects of the project you thought, oh dear, that was a bad day? Did you have bad days? Not really, no. I found it really interesting. I thought we, we did some really good work, especially in such a short period of time. I think that was a challenge probably, more than a bad day. Yeah. It was difficult to get hands on data maybe to the timescales we wanted and to, and to really get all of the, the people, the right people in the right rooms and, and get all the conversations done in such a short time it was a challenge. but. It made it all feel really worth it now at the end, and we've come up with some really good. Um, so you definitely do it again, definitely. or you do more of it. That's yes, the important yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully, for the possibility of a demonstrator and other projects. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And have you talked to your French colleagues about this, or is that something you'd be interested in doing? We began those discussions, I Excellent. think, um, between the ports, both Calais and Dunkirk. Yeah. Um, and I think it's something we definitely need to look into in even more detail in the demonstrator because yeah. a, a together approach is absolutely necessary for this. We've all got to work together and I think that needs to be a real core part of, of any next project or any future projects we do surrounding this topic. Okay, excellent. Well, lovely to talk to you and I know you've enjoyed working the project and with everybody else and here's to the next one. Yes. Thank you, Megan. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks.